is Rebecca. Welcome to February SMA Sketch Club. So today we're going to be talking about landscapes. And over my shoulder, we have a picture of Victor Higgins' big tree. And this is a landscape. And sometimes when we are thinking about landscapes and we want to draw, we can just go outside and draw what we see. But artists like Higgins and other artists, even long before Higgins, traveled out to the southwest to paint. We're heading out west to get inspired by the mountainous, dramatic landscapes of the west. And so today we are going to create our own landscape and we are going to play a little game called Roll a Southwest Scene. And this game is gonna decide for you what you draw. So sometimes it's kind of like writer's block. It's hard to decide what to draw. This is gonna tell us what to draw. It's gonna be kind of fun. So let's start. Okay, so what we're going to need is your sketch club sketchbook. You're going to need a pencil. You're going to need your game sheet that gives you the uh, things that you're going to want to draw. And a, you're going to need a dice or you can choose a series of numbers randomly before you begin between one and six. So uh, you would choose four different numbers and uh, that would tell you what to draw. And then also at the end, we can use colored pencils. So get those supplies and we're gonna get started. All right, so we are going to draw a landscape today, but before uh, we get started, let me show you what I drew. So we're going to be doing a simple landscape with four elements, and it's all going to be based on a game of chance. You're gonna roll your dice and you're gonna use this game card, and it's going to tell you what to draw. Uh, so let's, before we get started, let's talk a little bit about landscape. So in my drawing, I have a, uh, a foreground. Those are the things that are really close to you. I have a middle ground. Mine's in the middle of the paper. Those are the things that are kind of just in the middle. And then the mountains are in the background. You can see that the ground and the sky, basically behind these mountains, it all meets right here at this horizon line. So this is the place where the meeting of sky and land are, right here. And so in my drawing, we have the foreground up here, and then I've placed my building in the middle, and then my mountains way far away. Now, when you draw your horizon line for whatever element you put in at the very beginning, do not feel like you have to put it up here. Your art, artists choose any place to put their horizon line. Your horizon line could be way down here. You could have a very sky-filled drawing and that would be okay. So I wanted to uh, get with that first. So we're going to open up our sketchbook and we are going to roll our dice. And so the very first roll I have is a one. And when you look at your game card, you have four columns. So our very first thing we're gonna do is to add a, a natural element into our landscape, and I rolled a one. And so I am drawing mountains. So I drew my horizon line, and then I drew my mountains, and you can draw your mountains pointy or very soft and eroded. It's completely up to you. you now you might have rolled something else. Your neighbor, if y'all are playing with your own dice, they're going to be drawing a completely different drawing from you because maybe they rolled a four and they are drawing trees. So we're going to roll again. I rolled a two. And so I am going to look at the second column and it's the old building. So I need to draw an old building into my drawing. And as I put my building in, you can see I put my building in the middle ground, way off in the distance. If I was standing near this place, I would have to walk a long distance to get to this building. Now, if I put my building down here in the foreground, I would draw it much larger, and it would be down in this area. And that would show you that this building is very close. So you're gonna be thinking as you're drawing where you want things to be. You don't want to put every element in at the same size or your landscape really won't make sense. It won't have a sense of depth. Our next step is we're going to add something from this third column. And so I am rolling a three. So let's look and see what that is. Third column, three, small bushes. 
So I am going to add my small bushes. And this is a perfect example of how you draw the same thing differently to show where it is in the landscape. So here you can see that this, in the foreground, this bush is pretty close to the viewer, and it is much, much larger than the bush in the middle ground. And look at the bushes that are around our old building. Are they quite small? They are. And so as you add your elements, you want to think about where are they in your landscape. All right, our next step, roll your dice again, a two. This fourth column, we're going to add a living thing into our landscape. And if you look at the fourth column and you go to two, I rolled a lizard. So let's look and see where I put my lizard. So I've added my lizard down in the foreground, but lizards are very small, right? They can be just a few inches long. And so I placed him down at the bottom near a bush. Maybe he's looking for a little bit of shade, but he's pretty small. Let's consider, what if I had rolled a one, this bison? Would, I, would it make sense for me to draw my bison in the foreground near to the viewer in my landscape the same size as my lizard? No, it would look a little out of proportion. So if I had drawn my, if I had rolled a bison, I would want that bison to be very, very large, much larger than this bush. So you're, you're going to be needing to think about what you drew as well. What if I had decided to draw my lizard over by the old building? My lizard might be almost unseeable. It would be so small. If you think about these bushes, it would just be this tiny little dot off of the distance. So these are the things you're going to think about as you draw. After you have your drawing, you can get your colored pencils if you want to add some color. And that way you can really add some more uh, definition to the things that you drew. Sometimes drawing, it's the hardest part is deciding what to draw. And this game really helps you not only decide what to draw, but it also can give you the hints on how to draw it. And so if you are unsure how to draw something that you rolled, it is perfectly okay to try to mimic the drawing you see. But it's also okay to draw it the way you want to. So don't feel like you have to have a drawing that has these elements that look just like this if you don't want them to. But it is a good starting point on how to get uh, these elements into your landscape. Well, I had a lot of fun drawing landscapes with you today, and we'll see you next month at Sketch Club.